I know this is going to sound a little bit off topic, but the first video that I ever made apart from this one, which was on the top 10 worst films of all time, in my opinion, I said that Open Season 3 was the number third worst. And, I mean, it is justified, but I mean, I didn't really give them descriptive of, of an opinion on that film. All I said that I was confusing as a kid, and it's still confusing now. And that's very bad. That's it. So it's my duty to give you a more detailed explanation of why I think this is an awful movie that shouldn't be seen by anybody. I mean, I gotta come clean and honest. I gotta say my real thoughts. I gotta come clean and honest, man. This movie is freaking terrible. To understand the pure awfulness that this movie provides us with, we have to go back a bit. And when I mean back, I mean to the age when the world started to form. When the Big Bang happened and... Wait a minute. I'm too far back. <laughs> we have to go back to the year of 2006. The year where animated movies were falling under the category of anthropomorphic animal movies. When animal movies were at the height of their popularity. Either they're anthropomorphic, or they just had animals talking. Some notable examples include Happy Feet, The Wild, Over the Hedge, Cure Store, Barnyard, and the crowning achievement of absolute bullcrap, Open Season. Thanks me for saying that. Now, this is the first movie from Sony Pictures Animation, and you can tell, the animation is awful. But, I mean, there's still some good things about it. As in good, some good things, I mean one good thing, that's the villain, that's it. However, this movie is still pretty awful. It's the fifth worst film I've ever seen, in my opinion. But you know what's better than it? The sequel! Open Season 2! Yeah, the sequel is actually better than the original, deal with this. This movie is still bad. But I mean, the ending is pretty funny, and the villain is pretty good. But apart from that, everything about this movie is wrong. The animation's bad, the story is bad, the characters are awful, every the humor is awful, everything about this movie is awful. But we haven't even got to the absolute worst open season movie ever made. Open season 3. Yeah, we're gonna get into that film now. The worst thing about this film so far that I'm gonna talk about is the story. In ca case in point, there is none. It's just your typical love circus story that's basically about Boog. Yes, Boog, who I refuse to call Boog, and I'm just gonna call him Crap. Yeah, he just looks like a piece of crap. A hunk of crap. Something crap. He's just crap. Crap as a character, crap as an animation subject, crap as everything. This movie's crap. You already know that. But Boog basically wants this, uh, like, he's... He's horny for Lady Bear, but he has to be at a circus, so he switches places with this other bear, who is actually a dictator. And basically, he tries to be like... They basically switch places, and then it honestly goes to hell. Because this movie is hell. It is absolute hell. It's basically just your simple, simple Prince of the Popper love story. Except there's none of the goodness... From any other adaptions. It's literally just The Prince and the Pauper, but with crappy, stupid characters that we've seen before. Next thing awful about this movie is the animation. There, it is awful. It is worse than any other movie that I've ever seen for now until Ice Age 6 comes out. Yeah, get ready for that one. The, the animation in this movie is terrible, it doesn't even flow right. Yeah, at least it actually has textures. That's something you can say about food fight. But I mean, with this film, like, the one thing it lacks in character, like, the thing it lacks in, like, textures, I mean, it has texture. The texture is good. Actually, no, it's bad. Everything about the animation is awful, but at least there's still textures. But the one thing that's awful about this animation is the character animation. For some reason, the movements get more unrealistic as the films go on. And it definitely gets worse uh, when you get to this film. Where there's basically just, it just keeps on like, it, the, no. 
the character animation is so over cartoony, and there's even a part where it's incredibly stilted. Now I would show you the scene, but that's how much I don't care. Actually, I am going to go to the show you the scene. Look at the animation. It's so stilted at that point. Why is it like that? It's trying to be over cartoony without actually showing any of the cartooniness. Next thing awful about this movie is the characters. That's because all the characters are stinky diaper poo poo faces. They're terrible. They are so unfunny. Boo is just your typical idiot. Elias is the dumb kind of comic relief, then Lady Bear is just the dumb love interest for Boog, and then you have the other version of Boog, where he's basically just an absolute bumhole who just wants to be dictator of all the animals. And that's why I now know why everyone was angry at Boog. It wasn't even Boog in the first place! It was someone else! Identity theft! The characters in this movie are so awful and so stupid, it actually makes zero sense. The characters, I don't understand these characters. Why do these characters exist? I don't want them to exist. I love how in the fourth film they completely ignore that any of these characters existed. Uh, the lady bear, the llama, the deer's kids, uh, the deer which, which, who was in a relationship with it, with the girl deer, the animals, everything f from the second and third film is ignored in the fourth. Thank Lord Jesus. Wait, did I see it funny? Yeah, this is laughably bad in the humor. Like, it's, when I say laughably bad, I mean, it's not even bad funny. It's just not funny. Not funny. Didn't laugh, if that's how the meme goes. Sorry, I'm 100 years old, I can't understand anything, because that's because I don't care. I'm reviewing movies from 2010. But I mean, like, come on. Like, come on. You, cur you couldn't really put any effort into the humor. The open season movies are laughably unfunny. They are so awful in the humor that sometimes I don't even know where to laugh. Like, there is no humor. If this movie is not funny, is this meant to be a comedy? It feels more like a terrible horror film than anything more than a comedy. Speaking of the characters, there are also the side pet characters and also the side animal characters. And guess what? They make no sense whatsoever. They shouldn't even be in this movie in the first place. They don't belong here. Why are they here? They should... No. They should belong in the fourth movie. Why are they in the third movie? They have no purpose. The only purpose that they have is none. There is no purpose for them to be in this movie that's centered around Boog, the Boog imposter, the deer, the deer's kids, and that is it. Also Lady Bear. But I mean, come on. The focus is on Boog, not the animals. There you go. That's my review of this movie. It's awful. It sucks. It's awful. It has no story, no characters, no an no good animation, nothing. Absolutely nothing. At all. Why, wh why watch this film? I do not recommend this film at all. Have I not seen my rating yet? Well, I'll tell you my rating. One out of mother flippin' ten. It is one of the worst movies ever made and should not be seen by anybody. Not even fans of open season. No one, absolutely no one should watch open season three. Like, these movies are awful, beyond awful. They're terrible pieces of dumpster fires. And what's even worse is that Open Season 3 basically has the same plus as Madagascar 3. Wait, I just realized something. Open Season 3 sounds incredibly similar to Madagascar 3. It literally is down to the same plus where they're at a circus. And they have a two year parting from each other, so these events, they sound very similar. But. They're not the same, but they are technically the same because there's a circus in both of them. And Madagascar 3 came out the same year as Ice Age 4. And that film and Madagascar 3 had very similar elements where 
they have a good plot at the beginning, but then eventually derails into something that's absolutely terrible. Madagascar with the circus thing, and Ice Age 4 with the th that thing. There's also some very similar things with Open Season 3 and Madagascar 3 as well. Like how they're both the third installments in their particular franchise. And also, that they're also both very bad, but Open Season 3 is just very much worse. Oh my god, I think there's a connection with these movies. Not Ice Age 4, forget about that one, but there's an actual connection with Madagascar 3 and Open Season 3. Oh my god, there's actual connection with these movies. Oh my goodness! I can't believe there's so many similarities between these three movies. I can finally submit this to the NSA to get my job there. So, uh, are there any other differences w between these two movies? All the hell! I have to destroy this op th my copy of Open Season 3 before it spreads across the goddamn universe! <laughs> Damn it, it's too strong! I have to get something more powerful and destructive to completely get rid of this movie. Wait, I have an idea. Nuclear missiles. Beep. I did it! I destroyed every single copy of Open Season 3! I did it! I finally... I've been filed a restraining order by the U.S. government for blowing up the capital of Washington, D.C. because I tried to destroy every single copy of Open Season 3, which is technically illegal. Now I have to do community service in Central Park every day on Sunday for my life. And I also have to pray at the same time with a man who's dressed as Jesus and looks like Jesus. I sincerely apologize for the things that I've done and I hope you can forgive me. <sighs> yeah, right. FBI went up! Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review of Open Season 3's movie. Bye.